This is our History Timeline Project by Lindsay, Sienna, McKenna, and Simi. Dred Scott versus Sanford, April 6, 1846 to 1857. I'm Stanford. I'm a senator. I'm Dred Scott. Stanford has arrived. Have a seat. This case about Dred Scott's freedom. San Stanford is going to speak first. The case is simple. The slave is mine. I have gone to free states. I should be free. Objection! Say objection! Objection! Order the court! made my decision. Dred Scott is not a citizen in the United States. He is property to Stanford. Come, slave! I'm Abraham Lincoln. And I'm Stephen A. Douglas. Introducing Stephen A. Douglas. Woo! Woo! And Abraham Lincoln. Wow. You may debate. A house divided against itself cannot stand. It will either be slavery or not slavery. I'm against it. I'm for it and popular sovereignty. I'm South Carolina and I'm going to secede. South Carolina secedes! I'm Alabama. Oh, I'm Louisiana. And I'm Florida. We're going to follow. <laughs> Let's make the CSA. CSA! This is the attack on Fort Sumter on April 12th. 1861. I am the puny northerner. And we're, we're the, the southerners! The rebels. rebels! Lincoln sent me here! Get we're the rebels! rebels. Get, Get out! Right there, right. I surrender! This is the northern blockade on April 19th, 1861. And I'm the south! And we're, we're the northern blockade! Yum! Cookie! No more! We're demoralizing you! No more supplies! No! This is the first battle of Bull Run on July 21st, 1861. I'm the Northerner. We're, We're the, the Southerners! Ha-ha! <laughs> I have the upper hand! Ha-ha! Ah! Robert E. Lee, and I'm Robert E. Lee's troop. We're going to kill them once they attack. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Charge! No, wait! Charge! No, wait! Go! Charge! Victory! This is the Emancipation Proclamation. It was signed on September 22nd, 1862. I'm Abraham Lincoln's secretary, and I'm Abraham Lincoln. What you doing, Mr. President Lincoln? I just signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Would you like to know what happens when I sign it? Yes, of course. Well, <laughs> today, September 22nd, 1862, free Amer African American men will be able to join the Union Army. This will also free, s free slaves in rebellion states. The tra this will transfer the main focus of the war from keeping the Union together to trying to end slavery. This is the Battle of Gettysburg from July 1st to July 3rd in 1863. I'm Robert E. Lee. I'm General James Longstreet and Robert E. Lee's troop. I'm General Meade. I'm General Meade's troop. I am too. <laughs> and turning it off. We're going to attack. But we're outnumbered. We'll lose. I'm the greatest general there ever was. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. We're going to attack anyway. The 54th of Massachusetts is formed, July 18, 1863. The 54th of Massachusetts was the first African-American regiment that fought for the Union. It was led by Colonel Robert Goldshaw. They were allowed to fight because of the Emancipation Proclamation, and they fought well. At first, they were paid only $7, while white soldiers were paid $13. They boycotted, refusing to be paid until they were paid equally. Eventually, they were. They led a bayonet attack on Fort Wagner in South Carolina. Colonel Shaw and 300 others died during the battle. The Confederates dug a ditch and threw Shaw into it, then buried all of his dead men on top of him. But Shaw and his men stayed true to the end. 
This event is significant because it showed Americans that black men can fight just as well as white men, and it help, helped everyone see blacks more like people than slaves. I'm Abraham Lincoln. This is the Gettysburg Address on November 19, 1863. The Gettysburg Address was on November 19, 1863. It was a concise two-minute long speech. Abraham Lincoln told us that their fight for li liberty and equality is most important. He also said that they need to commit to fighting so, so that their soldiers do not die in vain or an unworthy cause. Abraham Lincoln also dedicated the battlefield March, December 21st, 1864. We are the Northerners. Robert E. Lee surrenders, April 9th, 1865. I'm Ulysses Grant, and I'm Robert E. Lee. We shouldn't do this. Let's create peace. <laughs> you know that one time? <laughs> This is Abraham Lincoln's assassination, April 14, 1865. I'm John Wilkes Booth. And I'm Abraham Lincoln. What a wonderful show. I love this show. I love it. Woo! Say summer tyrannous! <laughs> the 13th Amendment was passed by Congress on January 31st, 1865 and ratified on December 6th, 1865. It read, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. As you can see, it was significant because it permanently abolished slavery and expanded American civil rights. allowed to fight because of the Emancipation Proclamation, and they fought well. At first they were, only, they were paid only $7, while white soldiers were paid $13. They boycotted, refusing to be paid until they were paid equally. Eventually they were. They led a bayonet attack on Fort Wagner in South Carolina. Uh, Colonel Shaw and $300 died during the battle. $300? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> The 54th of Massachusetts is formed, July 18, 1863. The 54th of Massachusetts was the first African-American regiment that fought for the Union. It was led by Colonel Robert Goldshaw. They were allowed to fight because of the Emancipation Proclamation, and they fought well. At first they were only paid $7, while white soldiers were paid $13. They boycotted, refusing to be paid until they were paid equally. Equal, eventually, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry. Why? Introducing Stephen A. Douglas. You may debate. I will start by saying a house divided against itself cannot stand. <laughs> Introducing Stephen A. Douglas. And Abraham Lincoln. Woohoo. You may debate. A house divided against itself cannot stand. It should either be slavery or not slavery. I'm against it. I'm for slavery. I can't say that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yum, cookies. No more! We're demoralizing you! No! <laughs> that wasn't it. Haha, -ha, I have the higher ground. Haha. -ha. Oh man, she got her. <laughs> What a lovely show! Six of the tyrants! First of all, what is going on? Oh no! There's a shooter on the list! <laughs> Don't worry, it doesn't have a working gun. <laughs> I will soon enough. It's a person. <laughs> oh, There's no. one behind the piano.